was good everybody all you derps and derpets my name is derpy pearly and welcome back to another pokemon discussion video guys and today i'm going to be discussing to you guys ash's ultimate team can finally win the gylar regions league without further ado let's jump into my thoughts shall we roll the intro rolling <laughs> Alright, welcome back. So, to start it off, I want to say, take everything that I say with a grain of salt. But as of right now, Ash has Pikachu, Gengar, and Dragonite, and Riolu. Now, I love the way that Pokemon has already introduced all these type of Pokemon for Ash. But the fact that they gave him a Riolu now, is going to be caskets for the League. If this Riolu somehow manages to evolve into a Lucario, because there are many speculations and leaks and hints that Karina is finally going to make a return. Yes, Karina from Kalos. Karina has a Lucario herself, and yet she has mastered it. She has mastered the power of Aura and the master to Mega Evolve it. Now, a lot of people are thinking, well, if she makes a return, that means Ash is probably going to get a Mega Stone too. No, it does not. That does not mean anything. Shut up. Anyways, the fact of the matter is, Ash's Lucario doesn't need a Mega Stone in order to whoop ass. His Lucario might as well just become the greatest Pokemon ever. <laughs> However, there are still hints and leaks and speculations on one of the greatest Pokemons that Ash has ever caught to return back into his team that pokemon being greninja yes you heard it right we're going to probably see ash greninja maybe take that with a grain of salt because ash greninja was the only pokemon that ash truly used back in kalos ever since he realized the true potential of greninja and what they can form the battle bond ash was always used <coughs> Ash was always using Greninja in every single battle, no matter what. If not, he would always save Greninja for last, just in case he needed to mollywop somebody. That being said, Ash Greninja is probably one of the strongest, if not powerfulest Pokemon Ash has in his arsenal. Not to mention Pikachu, because we, we don't talk about Pikachu's level. Pikachu's level is probably like 1000 and something right now. But that makes five Pokemon for Ash. Now, people are speculating him getting a uh, Subble, Tyranitar, whatever Pokemon that he gets. Whatever Pokemon that he gets, which, in my opinion, if it, if it is Subble, then that would mean there is no reason for Ash Greninja to make a return. So, I'm going to rule out Subble just in case. But, if Ash is able to catch a Tyranitar, which is honestly something pretty cool because in Johto he did have a Lavatar. Lavatar. So if he's able to capture one more great Pokemon like that that's already fully evolved. The fact of the matter is he has Pokemon that are fully much evolved already like that's it it's, o it's over it's caskets too. So if they decide to give him a Tyranitar it's basically over. However there is a possibility that Ash could maybe bring back a certain type of Pokemon that we all know and love. Now, these are the two Pokemon that I wish to see return. Possibly that's never going to happen, but Infernate is one of the fan favorites that I realized that will possibly, maybe never return, but in my opinion, I would love for Infernate to return because in Diamond and Pearl, we see Ash finally get Paul's Chinchar, he raises it up, he gives it all the love and care that it needs in order to survive, and not only that, but he involves it fully into an Infernate to finally beat Paul in the Diamond and Pearl League. Not that that right there in itself. Ash was already a great tra trainer with Infernate, but for Infernate to come back in this series now, if Infernate learned at least close combat as well, It'd be it'd be over. It'd be straight up it'd be straight up over for them. But that just isn't the case as well. 
because one of the other fan favorites that people want to see is Charizard. We all know that the, the that young homeboy, you know, the, the king of the Kalos League. We all know that my boy over there, he got himself a Charizard himself. So, you know, he, he ain't fronting anything. So, we all want to see Ash's Charizard possibly go up against his Charizard. Not only that, but the fact that they gave Slash to Charizard is honestly pretty stupid. Anyways, um, <clears throat> where was I? Back to Ash's ultimate team. Yes, Charizard himself. If Charizard made a possible return, honestly, I can more than likely see that happening more than anything else because the fact that Leon has a Charizard himself and Ash already has one, he would possibly just call his Charizard and say, hey, you ready for another great battle? And then Charizard would be like, the boy, who are you talking to? Get out my face. Get out my face. Man would be like, boom, wing attack, boom, slash, stop talking to me. Get out my face. Dragon breath. What's up? Pikachu, however, would be like, hey, yo, what's good, cuz? It's been a minute. He'd be like, hey, yo, what's good, young cuz? You know what I'm saying, dog? But I'm just messing around a little bit, but. Overall, I believe Ash's team as of right now, as of who he has right now, it's already set perfectly for the league. If he evolves that Riolu and it goes into a Lucario, it's wraps. If he Gigantamaxes that Gengar, it's a wrap. Pikachu, it's a wrap. Pikachu in itself is already OP by himself. However, there is a possibility now. This is a small, small possibility. Honestly, we haven't really seen that many trades happen that that much ever since Diamond and Pearl. However, I would like to see maybe Rabu got goes Rabu might possibly want to join Ash's team, you know. But I highly doubt that because in the last episode it shows that Rabu actually cares about Go, so it's evident that Go is going to work with Rabu and just, you know, keep on kicking ass and everything. So it could it could happen, it could happen, but it's more than likely not to happen as well. But these are just this few Pokemon that came to mind as to why Ash can finally win this Gylar League as well. More than likely they're going to hoe him out because, you know, the boy already won one league now, so what's the point in him winning the other? You know how this works. Ash wins one, now we gotta make him look bad again. But in the series right now, he, he's, he's been whooping ass and he's been getting holes and everything. So honestly, let me know who you guys think Ash's ultimate team can be and will he be able to win the Gylar League or will he just end up like he was in Kalos and get bodied for no reason even though he has the strongest mon. Anyways, as always, I hope you guys had an awesome day. And if you like this video, be sure to slash that like button, slash that subscribe button for more future Pokemon content such as this. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to check them out. And as always, stay safe, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. I love you. P -p 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 Peace.